two great summer treats. Um, we're going to be making brownie sundaes and also strawberry shortcakes. What you're going to, we're going to do the um, brownies first, but I do want to just say that whenever you start cooking or, or working with food, you want to make sure to wash your hands beforehand. Okay, so wash those hands, scrub them really good. And after you wash your hands, then you can touch the food and you, it won't be germy. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna be making today is a brownie sundae. Yum, and for that, you are going to need some brownies, some ice cream, some chocolate syrup, or any other kind of syrup that you like to use. You could use butterscotch. Um, there are a lot of different kinds of toppings. Also, you're going to need um, Ready Whip if you want to put some whipped cream on it. Okay. Well, I'm going to start off by showing you. You can literally use any brownie mix. I like to use Duncan Hines myself. And you can make, by following the package, you can make um, small brownies or you can make a big brownie. Now, I made a big brownie. Let me just share this to you. Okay, I have two of these very big brownies, and I think that's what we're going to use for our brownie sundae. Okay, I also put chocolate chips in my brownie. You probably can't see them, but chocolate chips are really delicious. And they add, they add that extra chocolatiness. Okay, so I've got my brownie on a plate, but I really want to use a sundae bowl. So, I'm going to have to cut my brownie into four pieces. All right, so there we go. I've cut it into four pieces. It'll be a little easier to work with. Okay. My ice cream is melting here. It's such a nice day outside, a little warm. Okay, so I'm gonna take my brownie pieces You know what? I'm going to take my brownie pieces. I'm going to put two pieces on the bottom and then my ice cream. Whoops. We've got ice cream going everywhere. Okay, I took three scoops of ice cream and put them in the bowl. So I have one scoop over here, one scoop over here, and then one scoop on the top. Okay, hopefully you can see that. Now, I have some sprinkles and some chocolate syrup. So what I'm gonna do is put a few sprinkles on. You can put as much or as little as you like. Some people love sprinkles. I like sprinkles, but I'm not that crazy about them. I think they look pretty. Okay. And I'm gonna take my two remaining brownie pieces and put them on the side. Okay, and I think that looks pretty. A lot of, a lot of food in this Sunday. Okay. 
Okay. And I'm going to take my ready whip and put some whipped cream on them. And again, you can put as much or as little whipped cream as you'd like. Okay. The last thing I'm gonna put on my brownie sundae is chocolate sauce. You can't have a brownie sundae without chocolate sauce. No, I'm just kidding. If you don't like chocolate sauce, you don't have to use it, but it does make the brownie sundae taste extra chocolatey. Okay, so here we are. There is my brownie sundae. Okay, so hopefully you get to make that. It's very easy. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do today is make mini sh strawberry shortcakes. So I'm going to get a clean plate. All right. And here are my strawberries. Remember, whenever you eat fruit, you want to wash it off first. Okay, so I have delicious large strawberries here. Okay, and you're going to want to wash these off. Okay, so I have these delicious organic red strawberries. And what you're going to need is a knife. You may want to get your grown up for this one using a clean knife. You just want to cut the stems off of the strawberries. It's really quick. You can have your mom help you, your mom, who's ever with you. And then you want to cut them in half. So I'm going to make a few. Rather, I'm going to cut a few. Okay. Now, with strawberry shortcake, you can make the strawberry shortcake yourself or you can buy it pre made. I am not using shortcake for this. I'm only using pound cake because I like my strawberry shortcake using pound cake. I think pound cake is very rich and buttery. Okay, so here we go. We have some strawberries. So I'm just cutting them in half. I'm taking the stems off. Okay, so let me show you this. These are the strawberries. Remember, you want to cut them in half after you take the stems off. So you'll have a nice selection of pieces. Okay. And here is my pound cake. You can make pound cake just like you could make strawberry shortcake. Um, but uh, as I said before, I'm using pound cake and you can buy a pound cake already made or you can make it yourself. And I'm gonna cut a nice big piece of pound cake. I think I will take a piece right from the center. and very carefully put that on my plate. Okay, then I'm gonna take another piece and put that on my plate. Okay, so it should look like that. Okay. 
then I am going to use the whipped cream. Oops. Okay. I'm going to put some whipped cream on the top and the bottom of my pound cake. Okay. And then I'm going to place my strawberries all around my cake, my pound cake. And then I'm going to place some strawberries just around the plate. Again, you can use as much or as, uh, you know, as many strawberries as you want, or you can use very little. I think I'll put more whipped cream on. Okay, so it should look something like this. If you're following me, if you're doing your own design, that's, that's great too. Okay. So we have our two summertime treats. Brownie Sunday and strawberry pound cake. Well, thanks for joining me. I hope you're able to make these recipes. You can contact the library if you want a list of ingredients. Bye.